Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on exponential function. So for this video, I am going to talk about exponential growth or decay. Basically, an exponential growth or decay is a function that grows or shrinks at a constant percent rate. The equation can be written in the form f of x is equal to a plus or minus r raised to x. r here is the percent growth or decay rate. This is written as a decimal. As usual, a would be our initial or starting value of the function. If there is an exponential decay, we are going to use minus here. Okay. So plus for growth, exponential growth minus for decay. That means this whole thing, the one plus or minus r, is between zero and one when we have an exponential decay, because we are going to subtract the rate from one. So one minus r is a less than one so we have an exponential decay if that is the case on the other hand if this whole thing the one plus or minus r is greater than one that means we have used plus there one plus the rate we have an exponential growth okay so let us take a look at the following uh, equations and let us determine if we have an exponential growth or exponential decay the first one we have y is equal to 300 times 1 minus t raised to 5 so the instruction here is to determine whether the equation represents exponential growth exponential decay or neither and please explain so for letter a remember the definition of the definition of exponential function we should have y is equal to a b raised to x okay our independent variable should be in the exponent in this case our independent variable is in the base okay so our exponent is a real number and not a variable this means our answer is neither this is not an exponential growth neither an exponential decay okay this is actually a power function not an exponential function okay for letter b we have y is equal to 220 times 1.06 raised to x you see the independent variable is on the exponent so that's okay let us take a look at the base this is 1.06 that is greater than 1 that means we have an exponential growth okay so we have an exponential growth for letter C, we have y is equal to 16.5 times 1.025 raised to 1 over x. As you can see here, our exponent is in fraction form. Okay, but our independent variable is at the denominator of the exponent. This means that this is not an exponential function. Okay, so we have neither. This is not an exponential function because the a variable is on the denominator okay for letter d we have y is equal to 11701 times 0 0.97 the base is 0.97 raised to t as you can see 0 0.97 is less than 1 but it's greater than 0 so this means we have an exponential decay remember we have an exponential decay if the base is between 0 and 1. So that's how you determine an equation or a function, whether it's an exponential growth, exponential decay, or neither.